Hello, my name is Stuart. I live here in London and I support KR. Hi, welcome to the KR Cave. This is my favourite room in our flat. It's actually the only room in our flat, but I had it converted completely and I got a lot of cool stuff I found online like this scarf, shirt, this flag, and my favourite painting in the world. Just classic football players for KR. There's Brilli, there's Olga, Good Johnson, and of course, Runa Christensen. What a legend. The best manager in the world. Uh, Gummy Ben, legend. Indri Dissagorsen, legend. And of course, Bjarni Fell, the Red Lion, who I've met. I met him in Iceland last year. He was really nice. I think I took about 50 photos of myself with him, but he was getting a bit tired, so we selected this one, printed it out, and he even signed it for me. What a fucking legend. I listen to him every week on the KR radio. It's the only way you can follow KR if you live in England. It is a bit difficult, because I don't speak high standing, and nobody understands the fucking word he says. But I also get a few games on telly. Uh, we don't have stud two sport here, but I got a mate who gave me an Icelandic uh, Avra Glory, and he hacked it a bit for me, did some rewiring. So now it believes it's in Iceland, so I can watch the Pepsi League in England. It's my girlfriend, Sue. Give us a cup of tea, love. We talked about this, come on. She's a bit miffed, because this used to be the kids' room. But after KR became champions in 2013, I had it all converted into KR. We're going to Iceland in a couple of days. We're really looking forward to it. Are we? Fuck up, Stu. She doesn't like KR that much. She never goes to any of the matches. She always just goes to Kringland to shop. But it's really difficult being an English supporter of KR, because people always ask you, Stu, you're from London. Why don't you support, like, Tottenham? Well, I ask you. There's loads of Icelanders who support English teams, and that's all right. But if I want to support an Icelandic team, I'm a freak. It's fucking bollocks. Come on, pick up the pace, Sue. Come on, kids. You put the bags I'm in the trunk. I'm not allowed to. You just can't open it. Well, it's not, it's not that difficult. Just put the bags in. Come on, kids. Take the bags with you, will ya? You sit with this one. Fuck. You sit with this one. It's the mates. Come on. You. Let's go. Really late. I've got to be at the red line to meet the mates. Right. Fucking hell. Just look at his place. Red Lion. Just look at that fucking history. This is the best place I can think of to have a pint at any given moment. My wife, she asked me to marry her, all right? And I said, sure, I'll marry you. She's gonna have the wedding reception at the Red Lion. She went fucking mental, man. But you know, that's just the way it is, man. You marry me, you marry the club. Come the match! Come on, KO! We are KO! Fucking hell, there she is. There she is, the big F. Frost is gone. Christ, man, every time I see her, it just hits me in the heart like that, you know? This is just, oh, wow, fucking hell, we're playing the song. We're playing the song. Oh, this is too much for me. I'm sorry, mate. It's really emotional. This is Mecca. This is fucking Mecca. Come on, let's have a good match, everyone. K.O. Go on, go on, son. It's all right. Just get in there. Get in there. Come on, man. Fucking offside. Come on, man. Are you fucking blind? It's not a fucking offside. Boom! Fucking wanker. All right, boys. Get the fucking ball away! Get away! That's it! Good defending! All right, then! Come on! Let's give it to Gary! Give it to Gary! Oh, that's good! That's... Yeah! All right, Gary! Come on, son! Come on! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Gary Martin! What a fucking legend! Fuck you! Yeah! Fucking go! There he is, Runa. Runa. Yeah. I can't believe I'm meeting you, man. Can I get a picture? Yeah, no problem. Sorry. Can you can you do me one favour, mate? Can you can 
you sign this for my wife? Yeah, of course. What's her name? Oh, fuck it. Just make it out to Stuart. To Stuart? Yeah, in fact, uh, right. To Stuart, the biggest foreign fan of KR ever. It was a pleasure to meet you. And thanks for your support. Your friend, two-time Pepsi League winning manager and three-time Cup winning manager, Runa, the legend, Christensen. Look forward to seeing you next time you come. Mi casa es su casa. Go KR. Fucking awesome. Cheers, mate. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, do you mind writing all of that on here? Yeah, sure. Just, yeah, just exactly the same. To Stuart, it was a pleasure to meet you. Cross, look at this place. It's like Nazi Germany. Come on! We are black and we are white. No one can yes. stop us now. Come on! Hello, can I help you? Yeah, you can fucking help me. Right. Fucking go now. Go. Cool. Yeah, come on, let's fucking fight, man. Come on. No, do you, can I help you with something? Do you, do you need something? Yeah, I just need a fucking fight right now. Fight? We don't fight here. Don't come on, mate. Come. I'm KR, your value, man. Come on, man. Let's fucking do it. Come on. <laughs> we respect each other. These are great teams in, in, in Iceland, the biggest teams in Iceland. What the fuck do you mean? Come on, let's just have a bit of a punch up, mate. Don't come do, on. Don't do that here. Just, no, just, no, come no, on, no. mate. Just punch me in the stomach. I'll tell you a story. Gummy Ben, a great football player. You know who he is? Yeah, he's a fucking legend, Gummy Ben. He's fucking brilliant. He's a legend in Coward. He's a legend in Valor. He has played for both teams. He won the championship with Valor in 2007. What? Yes, yes, yes. Come in, Ben. What the fuck do you mean? There's a picture of him inside with a cup. I'll show it to you. Have some coffee. A claim. Come inside. It's What do you mean? Come inside. It's okay. Have you ever seen it? It's a beautiful place. Fucking hell. That was really weird. You know, I really wanted to have a fight with those guys, but um, I didn't want to fight. Nobody wants to fight in this country. It's the only thing that's wrong with football in this country. Nobody has to be able to fight after a match. George is really friendly. And uh, it's really weird. Well, he's a really nice guy. And, uh, and uh, yeah, hello. He's really nice. He said he actually he has a mate who, who might want to fight me. He's a big, strong guy who likes the value. So, so I'm going to stay here for a bit and see if he wants to fight me. Then I'm just going to try, you know, just give him a bit of the old black and white headache. But it was really weird. It was really friendly.